Hi yogis, welcome. I'm going to do a 45 minute vinyasa core flow and I'm going to do a ladder style flow which I'm going to break into three sections. So the first 15 minutes will be more of a warm up, more repetitions and you can finish after that if you like. So between each section I will come down into child's pose just for a little break so you can actually start or just do a 15 minute flow or turn it into a 30 or you can do the full flow with me. And so when we talk about core, so core vinyasa has always been my favourite and when we talk about the core we often think of our abs, our six pack, our abdominal rectus, muscles here at the front, but actually our core are all the muscles that connect to our lumbar spine, they connect to our rib cage, they're the muscles that connect to our hips and our pelvis, so we'll be working through a variety of movements in this practice. We will begin in extended child's pose, come down onto your mat. So take your toes together, knees wide apart, sit back on your heels, take a nice big deep breath in, fill up, as you exhale just release the shoulders back down and slide your arms, your hands out front, press the forehead into the mat, we'll take some clearing breaths in, find your ujjayi breath. Take a big yogic deep breath in, just making that little hissing sound in the back of the throat, extend right into your exhale. So you just draw on the sit bones back, sliding the hands back, beginning to relax. Again, draw the breath in, fill up as much as you can. Again, just that little hissing sound on the back of the throat, your jai breath, just helping you to be very present with your breath. Just allow any distractions now to float away. We'll take another clearing breath in. I want you to fill up as much as you can. Take the breath from your heart all the way to the crown of your head. And as you your tongue on the roof of your mouth, just extending right into a slow, steady out breath. And now just coming into a neutral tabletop position, drawing the knees underneath your hips, wrists underneath shoulders, beginning to engage the underside of the body Pressing through the fingers, extend the fingers nice and wide, making sure that you're not sinking into the shoulders, so you're really pushing through the shoulders, beginning to protract the shoulder blades. We'll come and do a few rounds of cat and cow. Just draw your sit bones together, squeeze the pelvic floor, begin to lift the sit bones, drop the navel down towards the mat and then open the chest up slightly. Take the gaze slightly up, be careful not to jam the back of your neck. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, round through your spine, push through your shoulders, dropping the crown of the head down. Inhale, lifting the sit bones, arching through the back, taking the gaze up. And exhale. So we're articulating the spine, we're massaging, stimulating the internal organs as well, in cat and cow. Inhale. back to a neutral tabletop position. We're going to warm up the wrist because we're going to be doing a few side planks in this practice. So coming onto the back of the hands, have your fingertips facing each other. And I want you just to bend your elbows slightly here. So making sure shoulders are over the wrist still, coming forward. Now clench your fist here. So have your thumbs sticking up. Maybe just draw the hands a little bit closer together. And as you inhale, just begin to start to straighten the arms. This might be quite difficult for some of you, but beginning to really protract the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, now tuck your tailbone really round through the mid upper back, dropping the crown of the head down. And as you inhale, come back into your neutral position, relax the arms a little bit, bend the elbows. If it's easy for you to just have your fingers open, that's perfectly fine. So we'll do one more like this. As you inhale, begin to 
Try to tuck your tailbone and begin to straighten the arms. Begin to creep to a fist if that's okay for you. Drop the crown of the head down. And as you exhale, really push through the shoulders. You're protracting the shoulder blades. And then coming back now. And just coming back onto your palms, your fingers facing forward. Draw your knees together, your ankles together. Tuck your toes under. Sit back into your heels. And we'll just interlace fingers. Roll out the wrists. Nice straight spine, draw the shoulder blades away, long neck, shake out the wrists. Take a nice big inhale, maybe just move the shoulders, rotate them around, circular motions, backwards and forwards. Taking a couple of good cycles of breath here, just beginning to loosen the body up. Ooh, maybe take the arms overhead, take a nice big stretch, interlace your fingers and as you exhale, press the palms to the ceiling. Keep the neck long, keep the gaze forward. Really stretch out the toes here. Draw the, or depress the shoulder blades away. Beautiful, come back to your neutral tabletop position. We're gonna begin here with some repetitions and as we move through the flow, we'll go a little bit more quickly. Again, your knees under your hips, wrists under shoulders. Take the left arm forward and stretch the right leg back. You can point the right toe what I want you to do is push to your right shoulder so again you're not sinking into the shoulder blade. You can point the left or the, left, the right toe, should I say. And as you inhale, stretch out with your left arm and as you exhale, tuck in. We'll do four of these. Inhale. Exhale. Really crunching in as tight as you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, one more, inhale, lengthen, and drop left hand down, roll the right hip on top of your left, press the right foot into the mat at 45 degrees, extend the right arm up, you can take your gaze up, and now take your right hand behind the base of your head, and as you exhale, left knee, right elbow, we're going to do four of these, so inhale, open, exhale for two. Inhale, open, you can rest that left knee down. Exhale for three. Inhale, open. Exhale for four. Inhale, open. Take the right hand down, roll over your toes here. You're straight in the left leg. We'll come into Vashistasana side plank. Rolling onto the outside of the right foot. I'm going to give you some options here. You can extend the left arm alongside the left ear. You can have outer left foot, inner right foot on the mat, or you could stack your feet together, or if you want to go for the full pose here, full Vashistasana, lift the top leg up, reach and lengthen with the left arm, and as you exhale, elbow to knee. Again, we're gonna do four reps each side. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, keeping those left hips high, Exhale for three, inhale, exhale for four. Then take your left foot forward, drop the right knee down. Arjanayasana, so pushing the pelvis, or the, taking that anterior tilt out of the pelvis, plugging down through that left heel, squeezing the inner left thigh. Draw your arms overhead. Anjaneyasana. And as you exhale, we'll just release hands behind our back, interlace our fingers, we'll give the arms a little bit of a break. And as you inhale, just draw the top of the hands down towards the butt cheek, lift the gaze up, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, and push the shoulder blades into the front of the chest rather than squeezing them together. And then as you exhale, just release your hands, so frame your left foot with your hands, come high or lift your right knee up and then come high on your left toes here and as you exhale draw your left knee into the top of the left tricep and then once we draw, slowly drop the left knee down to the outside so keep the right toes tucked open the chest take the gaze up slightly and as you exhale draw the left knee back up so little tiger curls again we're going to do four reps inhale exhale for two Inhale, 
Exhale for three. Lift it as high as you can. Inhale. Exhale for four. Ooh, step back into your high plank. Gripping down with your fingers. We'll come through your vinyasa. Reaching forward, elbows in. Coming halfway down. Keeping those elbows into the ribcage. Untuck one toe at a time. Press down to your fingers as you point your toes. Squeeze your glutes. Take the gaze up into your back bend. Exhale. Ardha Mukha, Downward Facing Dog. Your first Downward Facing Dog. We'll take a few breaths here. I want you to press down through thumb index and your pinky finger really feeling that engagement in the side of the arms, the side body. And as you push through your hands, I want you to lift your hips high. And then as you exhale, draw the heels down towards the mat, draw the navel in. And again, have the head nice and long, or the neck nice and long, head heavy. Again, as you inhale, open up through the side ribs, draw the navel in. And as you exhale, lifting the hips a little bit high. It's okay if you want to bend your knees. It's hard for all of us to have a straight back and straight legs at the same time. So come back down into your neutral tabletop position, and we'll come into the other side. This time, take the left leg back. So just get nice and balanced here, tuck the left toes under, wrists under shoulders, and then fire the right arm forward. And then lift the left leg up as you inhale, reach forward, stretch, you can point the left toes. And exhale, crunch, and we'll do three more of these. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, so keep pushing through that left arm, it's not to sink into that left shoulder. Exhale for three, inhale. Exhale for four, beautiful. Inhale, dropping the right hand down, rolling your left hip on top of the right, dropping the left foot down, extend the left arm up. Four repetitions, taking the left hand behind the head, and as you exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, crunch in. So we're really working our obliques here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Take the right hand down, extend the right leg straight, roll over to Vashisthasana again. Take your options, extend right arm alongside right here. You can have both feet on the mat, outside of left, inside of right, or you can stack the feet on top, or you can lift the top leg up. And we're going to do four repetitions. So exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, lengthen, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, one more. Exhale, inhale. And this time as you exhale, take the right foot forward, drop the left knee, Anjaneyasana, raise your arms overhead. So just while we're here, I want you to really feel the inner right thigh here. So we're engaging Mulabandha, so squeezing the inner right thigh, tucking the tailbone, pushing the hips forward, and just taking that anterior tilt out of the pelvis here. So as you inhale, lengthen your arms up. Keep reaching, and as you exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Open the chest as you exhale, just chasing the hands down beneath the butt cheeks. Open the chest, take the gaze up. And as you exhale, raise your arms overhead again. And then releasing them to framing the right foot. And then tucking the left toes, lifting the left kneecap. Come high on your right toes. We're coming into that little tiger curl. Taking the right knee to the top of the right tricep as high as you can. And we'll do four repetitions here. We'll inhale, shave the right knee down. And we'll exhale, we'll take it all the way back up again for one. Inhale, down. Take the gaze up, open the chest. Exhale for two. Beautiful. Inhale, drop the right knee down. Open up, release the shoulders. Exhale for three, lift as high as you can. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Step back into your high plank. Come through your vinyasa, reaching forward, keeping the lower abdomen nice and engaged, tucking the tailbone, gripping down to your fingers, coming halfway to chaturanga. Untuck your toes, open the heart, point your toes, squeeze your quads, lift the kneecaps, engage those quads. Exhale. Adi Mukha. So we'll come through a little bit more quickly now. If you want to come into child's pose, if this is enough for you, take your knees out wide, 
big toes touching, draw the arms out. For anyone who wants to carry on, just come to child's pose here for five breaths, soften the spine, bend the elbows slightly, and just focus on taking full rounded breaths. Just taking any roughness out of the breath, matching the inhale with the exhale. So as you draw the breath in on the inhale, equalize it with your exhale. Finding your dry breath again. Just get a little constriction in the back of the throat, helping to be really out of custody, really present with our breath. We'll come into the second part of our ladder flow now, coming into your tabletop position, knees underneath your hips. So remember gripping through your fingers, your index, your thumb especially, and your pinky finger, really grounding down through the knuckles. We'll take the right leg back, tuck the right toes under, Engage your lower abdomen, keep that switched on, fire the right arm forward, lift the right knee leg up. You can point the right toes, so engage in a right thigh, and as you exhale, tuck in here. We'll do three more. Inhale, squeeze the glute. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, lengthen, drop the left hand down, roll the right hip on top of the left, dropping the right foot down, extend right arm up. And as taking the hand behind the back of the head as you exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, inhale. Well done, everybody. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale. And it's this time as you drop the right hand down, roll over the toes, Vashisthasana, coming into your version of Vashisthasana, side plank, four repetitions, exhale, inhale, open up, really stretch, really lift the left hips up, exhale, inhale, grip down through the right fingers, exhale, inhale, doing really well, exhale, inhale. Exhale, take the left foot forward, drop the right knee down, push the hips forward, raise your arms overhead, Anjana Asana, just feel the stretching through the side body as you push the pubic bone forward, and as you exhale, frame the left foot here, lift the right kneecap, so tuck the right toes, come high on the left toes, left knee to left tricep shelf, lift it up as high as you can, we'll come into our little tiger curls, for four reps as we inhale, Shaving it back down, open the chest up, shoulders back, exhale up for one, inhale, exhale for two, inhale, exhale for three, inhale, exhale for four. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of mountain running. So we're just going to switch from side to side for ten, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step back into your high plank. Whew, come through your chaturanga here, down here. Untuck your toes. And exhale. Beautiful. And then taking your right leg up into three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, come into your crescent lunge. I want to gain, engage the inner right thigh and your inner left thigh. So really engaging through that midsection, squeezing the left glute, rise on up into your crescent lunge, beautiful. Ooh, keep pushing the pubic bone forward, maybe a little bend in that left knee to help you stabilize. But you make sure you're pushing through those left toes, really feeling that lovely stretch as well through the left hip flexor, left quad stretching. Keep reaching up. And then as you exhale, just tip forward slightly, and step into your Utkatasana, your chair pose. So inhale, lengthen the spine, keep the knees bent, drop the hips, and we'll come all the way down into Navasana. Ooh. Just see if you can press the ribs into the thigh, stay on the heels, and then drop into your Navasana. So coming into your version of Navasana, we're gonna do some repetitions here. You can keep your knees bent, 
draw your shoulders into the sockets, you can have the legs straight. I like to keep my knees bent. So as we inhale, just come into your Ardha Navasana. And as you exhale, coming back into Navasana, that's one and two. We're going to do ten. So inhale, exhale. Just squeeze the thighs together. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We've got five more. Inhale, drop back. Exhale up. Try to keep the sternum lifted. Inhale, exhale. Ooh, this is demanding. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. What I want you to do, we're going to come into like a halasana. We're going to roll back. And everybody can take three breaths here. So you're in like a halasana here. Dropping the hands back here. Keeping the legs straight. Make sure the weight of your body is on the shoulders. Making sure the spine is straight here. Take two more breaths. A nice big inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. What we're going to do now is we're going to roll forward and do a jump back into Chaturanga. So as you inhale, exhale, cross the ankles, take the arms around the knees, palms down. Jump back into your Chaturanga. Untuck your toes. Open the heart. Exhale. Anamuka, beautiful. Come to the other side now. Coming down into your tabletop position. And this time we're taking the left leg back, tuck the left toes under. Remembering to engage the underside of the body. Pushing through the shoulders. Remember we don't want to sink into the shoulders. We want to keep all the muscles on the underside engaged. Fire the right arm forward. Lift the left leg up. Point the left toes and lengthen as you inhale. And as you exhale, tuck in. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lengthen. Drop the right hand down. Roll the left hip on top of the right. Drop the left foot down. Extend the left arm up. Keep the gaze down. Then drop the left hand behind the head. And as you exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, open up, draw that left shoulder blade back. Exhale for two, beautiful. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for four. Roll over the toes into your Vashi Stas in the side plank, your version. Left or right arm alongside the right head, lifting the top leg up. We'll do four repetitions. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, keep gripping through those left fingers. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, Let right foot forward, drop the left knee down. Raise your arms overhead, Anjane Asana. Keep lifting, keep extending through the side body, keep pushing the hips forward. And as you exhale, drop the hands down. Tuck your left toes, lift the left knee up. Come high on your right toes and point the right knee, catch up the right tricep. Ooh, and we're going to do four little five tiger curls here. Beautiful. Dropping the right knee down, opening the chest, and as you exhale, taking it all the way back up again. That was one. Inhale, open. Exhale for two. Well done. Inhale, open. Exhale for three. Lift it as high as you can. Inhale, open. Exhale for four. We're going to do a little me mountain running here for a little bit of cardio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Come back into your three leg of vinyasa. Ooh, come through now. Halfway down. Open the heart. Exhale. And we're going to take the left leg up into your three leg of dog. And we're coming through. To crescent lunge on the left side. So a little bend in that right knee, pushing through the right toes, tucking the tailbone, raise your arms overhead. So just feeling the stability again, engaging the inner left thigh here, pushing the hips forward and squeezing the inner right thigh as well. So you want to be really engaged here, squeezing your mula bandha. So squeezing your inner thigh has helped you to do this. Inhale, lengthen, feel the length through the side body. Oh, keep lifting. Two, three, four, and then coming back down.
down, raise your arms out here. We're going to come through here into Utkatasana, our chair pose. So big toes together, heels apart. Inhale as you drop the hips down, raise your arms up, take the gaze up. And then as you exhale, slowly coming down. Try to keep on the heels as long as you can as you drop the sit bones down, coming into your Navasana. We'll do 10 more reps. <laughs> so inhale, lower down to Adho Navasana. Inhale. Keep the shoulders back in the sockets. Keep reaching forward with the arms. Inhale, squeeze the thighs. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, well done, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, this time coming all the way, palms down, coming into your halasana here, Whew, take three full breaths, just planting the palms down there for stability. Make sure you're on your shoulders. Keep the legs straight. Keep pointing the toes. Four breaths here. Big inhale. And exhale. And another cycle of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. This time as you inhale, we're going to roll forward, cross the ankles, come jump to a jump back here into your Chaturanga, untuck your toes, upward facing dog, nice straight arms, point the toes, lift the kneecaps, so we're squeezing the quads, and then exhale, Adho Mukha, beautiful, so that's the end of stage two, we'll come into child's pose, knees out wide, big toes touching, draw the sit bones back, stretch out the arms, and if you want to finish at this point, you may do, but I do encourage you of course to come through all the way and finish with me. So we'll come through one more round. We'll do a few more add-ons. Otherwise, just finishing here. Slowing the breath down. Softening the spine. Softening all the muscles in your face. Relaxing around the back of the shoulders, the back of the neck. Hopefully you're going to join me carry through the next part of the practice. And so coming in now, back into your tabletop position. So again, we'll make sure the underside of the body is nice and engaged, keeping the tailbone tucked. Keep that engagement so the core is our front of our legs, the inner thighs, our molar bundle, the obliques, the abs. We really want to try and engage all in the back muscles as well. So again, we'll take the left or we'll take the right leg back here. So tuck the right toes, just finding your balance, making sure you're not sinking into the shoulders. And then firing that left arm forward, lift the right leg up, point and lengthen, reach forward with your left fingers and exhale, tuck in here. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, we're going a little bit faster now. Exhale for three. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale for four. Inhale, lengthen, take the left hand down, roll over onto the left knee, drop the right leg down, extend the right arm up, take the right hand behind the head, and then as you exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale for four. Come into your Vajistas and your side plank. Reaching with your left arm, feeling, really lifting those left hips up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Keep pushing through those left, right, right fingers. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale for four. Inhale. And this time as you exhale, left foot forward. Dropping the right knee down, pushing the hips forward. Raise your arms overhead, lengthen the side body. And as you exhale, we'll come into our little tiger curls, lifting the right knee, high on your left toes, left knee, top of left tricep. Inhale, shave it down. Open the chest, keep the right toes tucked. Exhale, back up again for one. Inhale, exhale. Well done, everybody. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, inhale, exhale. 
We're gonna come into those little mountain climbing movements. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Beautiful. Come back into your three-legged dog, taking the right leg up. And as you exhale, come through to your crescent lunge. So plugging down through that right heel, squeezing the inner right thigh and the inner left thigh so you're really stable around the midsection. And just feel how light your arms are uh, when you take your arms up. So inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, just reaching forward here, coming into your Navasana, slowly lowering all the way down, squeezing the thighs together. And this time we're going to do something slightly different. Come down all the way into your lower bow pose. And we'll come up, draw the arms into a cactus here. Keep the left leg extended, draw the right knee in. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee in. We're just going to do five. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee in. Lengthen. You can interlace your fingers behind the head if that helps. Lengthen. One more. Exhale, in. Right knee, left side. Left knee in. And lengthen. Exhale, in, lengthen, three more. Keep pointing the toes, it helps to engage the thigh. Exhale, in, one more. Exhale, in, and lengthen. Halasana, hands down, roll back here. Take three breaths, point the toes, keep straightening the leg, making sure you're not on your neck. All the weight of your body should be on the back of the arms and your shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and this time as we exhale, we're gonna roll forward, cross the ankles, take the hands and jump back through Chaturanga, untuck the toes as you open the heart. Exhale, Adi Mata. Right leg back, three legged dog. Point the right toes, we're gonna do a little add on here. Exhale, right foot forward. And as you inhale, Plugging down to that right heel, squeezing the right thigh. Raise your arms overhead. And then as you exhale, just a little bend in that left knee, pushing the hips forward. Just grip down through those right toes. Come into your cactus arms, draw the left knee in. So I want you just to stabilize here. I want you to really integrate all the muscles in your left, or sorry, your right leg. So your right glutes, your right quads the hamstrings gripping down through all four corners of your right foot. Interlace your fingers around the left knee, draw up as high as you can. Once you feel nice and stable, you're tucking the tailbone, really engaging through the midsection. You can feel the chest opening, you can feel the shoulders back. Nice, relaxed, relaxed long neck. Take another breath in while you're stabilizing. You're really integrating all the muscles in your right leg here. Keep breathing. Take your gaze, your drishti down the tip of your nose. Remember, a steady gaze is a steady breath, a steady mind. Beautiful. So what I want you to do now is keep that left knee nice and high. Point the left toes so you've helped you to keep nice engaged. And take your arms overhead. And just flip the palms back here so as if you're pushing against the ceiling here for five. We're going to do little pull-ups here. So we'll Exhale, tuck the left knee in as high as you can into your chest and release. Exhale and release. Three more. Exhale, release. Exhale, release. Exhale, release. Drop the left foot down and then come forward here into a forward fold. Beautiful. Take the hands underneath your shoulders. What we're going to do now is take the right leg back, take the left foot back a little bit. We're going to come to a vinyasa. And this is entirely your choice, but I thought we could do some little handstand hops along the way. So either come back through a full vinyasa or meet in downward facing dog. Otherwise, we'll do three little handstand push-ups here. So I want you now just to put all the weight through your left toes. So jumping up here, you're drawing the left heel towards the left glute here. Up, lifting the hips as high as you can. Just have a little go. Lifting the hips up nice and high, then stepping back into a high plank, reaching forward, chaturanga, untuck your toes, open the heart, shoulders back, take the gaze up, exhale, Mukha, beautiful. So jumping down onto your knees, the last side now, we're going to take the left leg back, tuck the left toes, so squeeze the inner left thigh, 
Fire that right arm forward. Be careful not to sink into the left shoulder. Raise the left leg up. Point the left toes. Reach as you inhale. And then as you exhale, crunch in. Three more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, lengthen. Drop right hand down. Roll onto your... We'll stack the hips here. So left hip on top of right. Firming down through the left foot. Extend the left arm up. Taking the left hand behind the base of the head. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Really draw that left shoulder blade back. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale for four. Inhale, placing the left hand down, rolling over to Vashi Stasana. Left side, right arm alongside right ear. Lifting the right leg up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Beautiful. Inhale, reach. Keep lifting those left hips up, or those right hips up, should I say. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And then dropping that right foot forward. Dropping the left knee down. Raise your arms overhead into Anjane Asana. Keep lifting, keep reaching. And as you exhale, frame the right foot with your hands. Tuck the left toes, lift the left kneecap. High on your right toes. Right knee, top of right, right tricep shelf. And then inhale. Keep tucking those left toes. Open the heart, gaze up. Draw the shoulders away. Exhale, up here for one. Three more. Inhale. Exhale for two, keep lifting, inhale. Exhale for three, inhale. Exhale for four, beautiful. We're coming to our little mountain running here. 10 of these, two, three, four. Keep lifting those knees as high as you can. Seven, eight, nine, 10, beautiful. Come back to a three leg vinyasa. Ooh, and as you exhale, look forward, reaching over your fingertips, coming through your Vinyasa, open the heart and exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg up into your three-legged dog, spread the fingers, feel the shoulder blades drawn away. And as you exhale, left foot between your palm and engaging the inner thighs here. So again, really pushing down through that left heel, engaging right inner thigh, right left thigh, drawing your arms overhead into your crescent lunge, noticing just how light the upper body is when you're really engaged in that midsection. So squeezing the right quad, squeezing that left right glute, lifting the right kneecap. Beautiful. And as you exhale, just tip forward slightly into a chair pose, Utkatasana, slowly dropping the hips down, coming all the way down. Beautiful. And this time, we're going to come into a little bit of yogi cycling. Interlace your fingers behind the head. Extend the right leg straight, left knee over left hip. And as you exhale, right elbow to left knee. And switch sides as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep the toes pointed. Exhale. Inhale. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Keep drawing navel to spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more each side. Inhale, exhale, beautiful, palms down. Roll back into Halasana, three breaths here, resting on the back of the arms, the back of the shoulders, making sure the, lip, the neck is long. Keep breathing. Ooh, two. And three, we're gonna come through our little jump back here. We're gonna roll forward, cross the ankles, arms around the knees. Jump back into your chaturanga, your low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg up into your crescent lunge. So really stretching the arms, gripping down to your fingers. Exhale, left foot between your palms and then draw the right knee up into your chest. Beautiful. We'll just take a few breaths here to stabilize. Want you to interlace your fingers around the right knee, draw it up as high as you can, grip down through all four corners of the left foot, integrating all the muscles in your left leg here. So squeezing the quad, squeezing the glute. Beautiful. Rest, open the chest here, draw the shoulders back, long neck, take the gaze down the tip of the nose. Four breaths.
breaths. Really connecting with the breath. Beautiful. And then when you're feeling nice and stable, so you're gripping down through all four corners of the left foot, really squeezing the muscles of the left leg, raise your arms overhead. And then as you exhale, just slide the shoulders down here as you draw the right knee up. And again, as you inhale, lengthen the arms and just bend the wrists so your palms are facing the ceiling. Beautiful, we're gonna do five little pulses here. Exhale, draw the right knee up as high as you can and release. Exhale and release. Exhale and release. Exhale, one more. Exhale, release, drop the right foot down. Take the feet slightly apart, come into a forward fold here. Rest the palms on the mat. Maybe bending the knees slightly, just stretching out back of legs, allow the head to be heavy, the neck long, relax all the muscles around the face, the jaw. Beautiful. And this time we're going to come to a little handstand hops, we'll come through your full vinyasa. So take the right leg back, place your hands or your wrists underneath your shoulders, draw the left foot back slightly. You're bending the left knee and you're really up on your left toes here, on the sole of your left toes. So just prepare for three little handstand hops. Just have a little go here. Beautiful, so lifting up that left heel toward the left glute. Inhale, up, lifting those hips as high as you can. We'll do one more, inhale, up, and then stepping back into your vinyasa. Untuck your toes, open the heart, exhale. Um, beautiful. Just take a few clearing breaths here. And then we're going to come do a little jump through now. We're going to bend the knees, take the gaze forward, press, just crouch back here, grip down through the fingers and do a little jump through. And we'll come down onto our backs, bend the knees, we'll straighten the legs, engage the core. We'll come down for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, drawing the right knee into your chest, interlace your fingers around the right knee. We'll come and do a nice few supine twists here. And just lengthen your neck. I want you to draw the shoulders back here. So feel the contact of the back of the shoulders on the mat. Beautiful. And taking your left hand outside of the right knee, extend the right arm out at 90 degrees. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the right knee up and as you exhale, fold over to the left. And then just release your grip around the outside of the right knee. So your arms are outstretched wide. Take your gaze back at your right hand. Feel that lovely stretch across the front of the right shoulder, the pectoral muscle. If you like, you can keep your left hand on the outside of the right knee. Beautiful twist. Our twists are very grounding, very balancing. And trying to draw that right shoulder blade right back. Nice relax all the muscles around the jaw. One more breath in, so as you breathe in, take the breath from the base of the spine right up to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, coming back to the center, draw the knees into your chest, give yourself a nice big hug, rock side to side, massaging out the lumbar spine. And then lengthening the right leg straight, point the right toes, interlace fingers around the right knee, draw the shoulders back, lengthen the neck, tuck the chin. And then right hand outside of left knee, left arm out at 90 degrees, palm down. Inhale, draw the left knee up as high as you can. Exhale, folding over to the right. Either keeping your hand on the outside of left knee, taking your gaze back to your left hand or releasing, stretching out the arms. And breathing, slowing the breath right down. And you can feel that lovely stretching through the abdominal core, the abdominal area. And then lots of work. One more breath in. And 
coming more than back to the center again, drawing the knees in, coming into happy baby, taking hands around the outside of the feet, ankles over the knees, drawing the sacrum down to the mat. So see if you can really try and flatten the lower back into the mat. So again, lengthen the neck, tuck the chin. Take three full breaths here, just putting everything, oh, realigning everything. Doing an inversion. Closing the eyes, rocking side to side. Hmm, when you're ready, just taking the legs out wide, allowing the feet just to flop out to the side. Relax the hips, just take a few moments to roll, just make some adjustments, roll your hips into the mat. Roll shoulders away, lengthen your neck. Arms out wide, palms facing out. We take a couple of clearing breaths here. So taking this breath from your feet through the legs all the way through the torso to the crown of the head. And again, taking that slow, steady out breath, releasing all the muscles alongside your spine. Feeling the whole front body integrating into that body. Again, filling up. Just giving the tongue a move for now, taking that slow, steady out breath. Just feeling the whole weight of the back body on the neck. Just beginning to soften the breath beginning to soften the belly. And just for the next few minutes, you can take as long as you like from in Shivasana. Just being, finding a nice comfortable place to allow any thoughts to taper away. I want you to follow your breath through your body. Find a place of stillness. body as the mind. Shavasana. And just before you float away, I'm going to read a few lines from Michael Stone, keeping your eyes closed before you drift away. Michael Stone talks about embodying the path in this wonderful book the inner tradition of yoga and he talks about the center of the pelvic floor and this is also the center of gravity for a human being and in yoga we're always moving towards the center of things our thoughts our feelings our sensations and our breath cycles all our movement is initiated from the center of the pelvic floor and the breath as an energetic pattern completes itself in a pause at Mulabanda and begins again where it ends. He says yoga psychology sees the mind and breath as bound together in the frame of the human body. There is no mind without breath and no stillness in body without stillness in mind and no stillness in the mind without a breath that is settled. Thank you.